AI makes Shopify SEO super easy. And in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to do it. I've done this for multiple Shopify websites like this one. And I'm going to show you how to get results within your first seven days. Now you've likely heard the chatter about SEO being dead and that publishers are getting constantly hit by the algorithm. While this is true, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the old way of doing SEO is dead because over the last 12 months, things have changed dramatically. Nowadays, your website needs to go through intense optimization. Let me explain. I just started this Shopify site from scratch and within two weeks, my impressions are ramping up and I'm getting clicks from Google. SEO is a long game. So using my strategy over time, your site will grow into this. So let me show you exactly what to do to get your Shopify store ramping up on Google. And make sure you stay till the end because I'll show you how to use natural language processing to add SEO power to your site. Let's get started. Now, there's a few different strategies people are using right now to rank on Google. The three big ones are Parasite SEO, Programmatic SEO, and AI content. Parasite SEO is when you write articles on popular third-party websites like Medium and Reddit, and then add links in your article that link back to your website. This is super popular because Reddit ranks number one on Google for thousands of topics. So the idea is to add links to relevant pages ranking number one on Google in hopes that you can siphon off some traffic. This was a really great strategy for a while, but now it's awful because the wrath of Google has arrived. Google just announced that they're punishing websites they catch doing this. They're trying to send offenders to zero and kill their websites altogether. So avoid this strategy at all costs. Parasite SEO is bad, do not do it. The next popular strategy that people are using is called programmatic SEO. It's when you set up a template article that can be adapted and scaled by swapping out variables in the template by using code. If that's confusing, let me show you how it works. One company that does it really well is Airbnb. If you scroll down and click the different location links, you can see that all the pages are exactly the same in structure, but some of the details are changed. This is programmatic SEO, and it's great when done effectively because it scales really easily. Companies like SEOmatic offer plugins for Shopify for this strategy, but it's really expensive. Plus, if you suck at it, Google's gonna punish you. Here's why. Programmatic SEO, when done poorly, looks like spam. So there's a lot of risk involved. You can destroy your website with a poor programmatic SEO strategy. Okay, now let's get into the third strategy, and it's probably one that you've heard before because it's using AI to create content. You basically tell ChatGPT, write me an article about a keyword you wanna target, and then it writes the article for you. This worked really well at first, but now it won't get you anywhere because Google is so focused on weeding out all the spam being uploaded to the internet. So don't do this, it's just a waste of your time. Your articles won't rank, and you're better off putting a little more effort into what I'm about to show you. Because the strategy that's working best right now is AI optimized content. The reason this is the best strategy right now is because it's the perfect mix between being helpful to users and optimizing for the algorithm. Let me show you how to do it. The first thing you wanna do is find out what keywords in your niche people are interested in. For this, I use Ahrefs. Now I'm gonna tell you upfront, Ahrefs is $100 a month. So if you're on a budget, use SEMrush. SEMrush has a free plan that you can use. So for this example, I'm gonna use Ahrefs, but just know you can use SEMrush for free to get the same result. In Ahrefs, I click the keyword explorer. Then I'll type in the relevant keywords to my website and add an asterisk. This basically tells the software to make suggestions based off of the keyword that I've given it. For this example, we're using my organizing product website I own with my wife. It's called straighteniphome.com. So go back and click search. Then click matching terms. Click KD and put zero and one. Then click lowest DR and type five. Click show results. This basically tells the software to find you super easy keyword targets you can rank for really fast. Scroll down and find a keyword that overlaps with what your website sells. You can see when I click the dropdown, there is a DR0 ranking in the Google top 10. We wanna create a content piece that knocks this guy off the top 10 on Google. We wanna take their place. Next thing you wanna do is go to ChatGPT and type, give me five article ideas for Google that target this keyword, and then insert your keyword. Then if the titles are too long, make sure you tell it to make them 10 words maximum. Copy your favorite title and then go to the ChatGPT plugin called SEO Analyzer. Tell it to write you a 2000 word article and then paste in your article title. 
then hit enter. Next, you want to go to surferseo.com. Surfer SEO costs money, so typically I'll pay for a month, use up all my credits, then cancel my plan. I use this tool because it gets my articles ranked on Google 90% of the time. If I don't use it, I only rank on Google 20% of the time. If you're on a budget, I get it. At the very least, I'll show you how to use it so that you can make an informed decision yourself. First thing I do is go to the content editor. Then I copy and paste my keyword I'm targeting and put it in the input box. When the Surfer SEO workspace is finished loading, I paste in my article from ChatGPT. Then click Auto Optimize. This will take a few minutes. Basically, the tool is using natural language processing to further refine my article based on the websites that are currently ranking for my target keyword. The meter at the top of the screen shows you how your article stacks up with the competition. You can see now we're at a 77 out of 100 the top content is ranked to 75, so we're good to go. That's it for Surfer SEO. It's super easy to use, but it really levels up your content. Next thing you wanna do is go to your Shopify store. Head to the blog post section and click add blog post. Then copy and paste the article from Surfer SEO. Make sure you put your title in the title section and the body in the body section. Next, you're gonna need a banner image for your content. For this, I go to Canva and create a banner using some basic text and elements that have to do with my article. For this, I included some baby clothes fabric in the top left. Download the image. Make sure the size dimensions are 1280 by 720. Head back to your Shopify blog article and click and drag the image. Then click save and make the article visible. Next thing you need to do is go to Google Search Console. This shows you all the analytics pertaining to Google, like how you're ranking and how much Google traffic you're getting. Google Search Console is free, and you'll want to have it set up for your website. When you get it set up for your website, you can push articles to Google so that they get ingested a lot faster. So I'll show you right now how to push your articles to Google. Copy and paste the URL for your new blog article, and then hit enter. Click Test Live URL to test that Google can find your blog article online. Once it confirms, click Request Indexing. This might take a minute, so you might have to wait, but once it finishes, you're basically done. Your article has been submitted to Google. 30 articles is the bare minimum to start ranking on Google. So if you have less than 30 pages on your website, you need to start doing this. If you do exactly what I just showed you and you do all 30 in the next few days, you'll start showing up in the Google search results in seven days.